daylight footage, but I actually think I'm going to upload this video. I have the tensioner on there. I have the, uh, the belt on there. <laughs> I have the tensioner on there. I have the, uh, the power steering pump pulley on there. Power steering pump is already, uh, hose is already hooked up. And I got to take that throttle body off. Not sure if I'm going to do wire or cable, but for the most part, this thing is done. Headers is on. Uh, I'm going to put the rockers in now. Rockers, push rod, lock those down, put the coil packs on there, and start basically assembling this thing, getting this thing ready to fire up. But before this thing leave, I got some other B-bodies that I got to get up out of here as well. So, y'all, going. it's time to get this green 96 out of here for good. Y'all probably forgot about it, but the demon is still there. So, about to get this hoe up out of here. So, Jesse, it's your time to time, man. This is just a sneak peek. Clink, clink. You know what I'm saying? So we about to make some stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? This is what baby wanted, man. I had to send her off right. You know what I mean? Can't, I can't give her the car that she wants. I can't do her dream car without actually having it the color. But trust me, you guys. It gets darker. And if you guys want to know what color this is, it's called Tootie Blue, you know what I'm saying? It's called Tootie Blue, you know what I'm saying? My boy did his thing on that one, y'all talking about, y'all talking about, that boy, all right, we can get him on camera now, god damn it, you know what I'm saying? This is actually the same person who's painting Twins I Rock, you know what I'm saying? I Rock is coming soon, stay tuned for the I Rock ZQT. And then uh, the next one, I might do a time lapse, so stick around. Let me know, leave it in the comments right now, and let me know what you guys think of the new color. Oh, wait. Sonic, nigga. Or fucking. Nah, you can't call it knuckles. Knuckles is red, huh? Mm hmm. This ain't no way saying no buff, nothing. This is just straight hit. Yes, sir.
Yeah, that's all I need right there. That's perfect. That shit hit me. Because. you guys are enjoying this b-body activity uh i'm trying to get a little bit of everything on there for you guys i'm trying to get some b-body activity g-body activity f-body activity a little bit of everybody activity you know what i'm saying and maybe soon we'll get back to the hood activities but for now we right here working on tooties 96 chevy impala as you guys can see i had to change up the color man this is my wife's dream car, right? It just didn't feel right. I was forcing her into the, uh, I don't want to say forcing, that's a mean word. I was basically trying to persuade her into, come on, light. I was trying to uh, persuade her into sticking with the DCM. I'm really one of them, like, I feel, I feel like it's taboo to change, to go away from factory or whatever. But at the same time, I feel like, so the 96 we have, Dark Cherry Metallic, which is DCM. We have DGGM, which is Dark Green Gray Metallic. And we have BBB, which is just black. Make it simple, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So this car is originally a DCM, which I had it painted. As you guys seen, I'll probably post a picture right here. And I actually did a 96. I think this would do right here. It's, it's so much different colors around the damn shop. I'm trying to get somewhere where I can talk to y'all. Y'all can actually see me. Uh... It looks good. I actually did a 96. I'll post a clip of it or a picture of it right here. Uh, now that you guys was able to see that one, that's why I was like, oh, man, I got I got to I got to kill him. I got to I got to do him one up. You know what I'm saying? But now now that we did it with this, I got to change. I wanted the car to look factory as possible. But now I'm going to have to do a little bit of painting. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do the bow covers. I'm gonna have to do the intake. I'm gonna have to switch a couple things up. And uh, yes, the whole, the entire car is gonna be this color. Uh, maybe I can't stop cheesing, man. Ivan, Cuz, you did a really good job, man. I ain't gonna give him too much credit yet. I don't wanna get too cocky, but he did do a freaking. Great job, man. He did a really good job. He said, oh, bro, don't worry, don't worry, man. And a lot of y'all going to be like, oh, what base did he use? And what is the color called? And, man, stop playing with me, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. But what I will tell you is uh, the bitch wet. Anywho, if you haven't done so already, you made it this far in the video, please do your boy a big solid. Like, subscribe, show love, hit the thumbs down, only if your ugly ass is a bum. And second thing, if you guys like the footage, I recorded from two angles. It was a wide angle and it was a small angle. <coughs> the wide angle was recording from a GoPro 12, uh, which is basically was recording the front of the car. The side angle was recording from my, uh, my Canon uh, camera. So you guys let me know which footage you think is better. And uh, Tyson was like, man, you gotta, you gotta upgrade a little bit, man. I think I'll probably just end up getting a wider lens. But this Canon is heavy, so if you guys think the uh, the GoPro 12 did do some justice, let me know. And uh, shout out to my boy Tyson for helping me. He just, uh, basically he was helping me doing the recording today. So that's why I was able to get them two good angles. And let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Are y'all rocking with the color? Listen, opinions are just like assholes. Everybody got one. So I want to know, I almost say I want to know your asshole. <laughs> <coughs> I don't want to know your asshole. I want to know your opinion on what you think uh, What you think about the new color, man. So 
For those of you guys that don't know, man, excuse me, guys, I'm extremely sick, man. I want to know your opinion. I want to know you guys' opinion on uh, on a new color. I'm extremely sick, so please forgive me. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, it's the stock aluminum block LS2 from a C6 Corvette. Uh, it's 100% bone stop, man. So it's going to be making 405 horsepower. It's going to be backed up by a 4L60E transmission that was rebuilt by my Uncle Coop, man. And um, it's going to have a set of long tube headers, LS2 intake. Currently, it does come with, 30, uh, with 308 gears, but I'm thinking I might bump them up to 373s, but the wife ain't out here trying to be ratchet. She ain't out here trying to get cracking. She's just out here trying to be driving, look pretty. And uh, I think I'm halfway there, man. Jeez. Oh, shit. God damn, God. It's all like that good. I wish I could show you guys the actual color, but uh, this hasn't been wet sand. It hasn't been buffed or anything like that. It's actually, it's showing up on camera kind of light, but the true color is probably that color right there. It's, it's really... The motherfucker just look good, man. So as you can see, like I put the the bow cover isn't really on there. It's just the rocker's not even on there. Or whatever, that's just all dressed up. Uh, I'm going to put the headers back on. Those will be in for good. I kind of want to leave them out for the transmission, but I know for a fact they're going to get scratched up. So I might uh, go grab the transmission. I already have a 2800 stall for it, even though the engine is stock. Yes, a 2800 stall will still help out. So. Uh, maybe I'll just slap the engine and transmission in, put the cross member in and put the headers on and then basically just take a break on it. I basically have everything here to finish this car. I have the harness. Uh, I have all the components for the fuel system. So I basically have everything but the radiator. I could get this car running and driving in a month, but I have prior obligations like Jesse's, uh, 96 Impala that's here. I need to get that thing out of here. He's been patient. He's been waiting for a long ass time. So, uh, I feel like. I think I own a car longer than he owned a damn car, which is not good. So I got to get that back to him. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Like, subscribe, show love. Hit the thumbs down only if your ugly ass is a bum, man. Hate is only love and jealousy at the same time. Let me let this thing down. Hate is only love and jealousy at the same time. And get your paper, because I need some too, man, because whew. This is not cheap. This is not cheap. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. Hopefully, I'll post it sometime soon. Uh, I've been having a lot going on, man, off camera. So, I'm just trying to live my life to the best of my abilities with no stress. I haven't taken on any new work. I've kind of actually been trying to get away from work, if that makes sense. I want the money, but uh, it may sound bad. I don't want to work for the money. I just want to... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to hit the lottery. I would love to hit the lottery, but I don't play the lottery, man. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go shoot dice or something like I used to do or something like that, man. I want some money, but I got way more than enough work, so I'm not taking on any new work at the moment uh, until sometime next year. I have some cars lined up, uh, 64 Impala, uh, LS3480, 96 coming in soon. Uh, I got some cars, man. I actually got a project here. This probably That's the last car that I took on, and uh, that one's... It's coming along nicely. We still got Jesse Brew, C3 Corvette. Man, I have a lot of cars in here that you guys don't even know about that will be coming to the channel soon. I'm just trying to get everything cleared out. It's early. Uh, it's late November, early December. I don't know. I just know that Thanksgiving. I don't know what damn date it is. And I'm trying to get three cars out of here before 2024. We hit 50K subscribers, man. I never said nothing about it. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful. I appreciate you guys, man, helping me out and... It's all love, man. Enjoy this instrumental by my big cousin, SS Fee. R.I.P. Brody. Um, R.I.P. Brody, fly high. I love you, man. I'm going to keep you going, keep you alive through these tracks. And if you guys have some instrumentals or your boy has some instrumental, send them my way, man. I want to I wanna be able to help somebody, man. I want to say put somebody on, but I want to be able to help somebody, help somebody out, help somebody get noticed, man. So even if you got some rapping or something like that, man. If y'all rapping, y'all do something like that, man. No, I don't want to hear no violence or nothing about no guns or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Rapping about the LA thing or something, man. Send it my way. And I love to put it on my channel. YT, what's happening with you, baby? What a doo-doo. What a stank stank. Today, I am here to tell you guys, thank you for watching the whole video, first thing first. Second, 
The BBC giveaway is gone, it's canceled, it's done, it's over. But good news, we are live. We are live back. 5.3 rebuild, zero miles, 243 heads, high revving lifters, swap oil pan, LS1 intake, LSG harness, base tune computer, and shipping is included, man. So last time we did 150 slots at 75. People said that was way too many numbers. So this time we're doing 100 slots at 100 bucks. But I'm doing a pre-sale on this thing, man. I want to say I want to do it till uh, the 12th. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pre-sale until next Friday. So uh, December 15th. December 15th at 11.59 is your last chance to get you a ticket at 75 bucks. After that, they're 100 bucks. The price will not change. We're going to rock it all the way out until all the tickets are sold. So with that being said, do not procrastinate. These things are going to sell extremely quick. Like I said, there's going to be two slots. Last time we did four. Can't do four this time, y'all saying? Four was four too many. So we're going to be doing two winners. First place gets the LS Swap. Uh, first place gets the 400 horsepower 5.3 giveaway engine. Second place gets, uh, what does second place get? Second place gets either 350 bucks or they get the, uh, what y'all gonna get? Oh, the LSG wiring harness, man. So 350 bucks or LSG wiring harness. And like I said, first place, you do got the option to get some cash. So it'll be a thousand bucks or the engine. If you're not a local, don't even trip. Shipping is included in that price. I think that's it, y'all. Like, subscribe, show love, hit the thumbs down. Only if your ugly ass is a bum. I will be posting all the numbers later on today in the comments. Also in the description. And you can also email me at lsgurugiveaway at gmail.com. That way, if you're impatient, you want to get your number, you want to get your tickets, you will get them a little bit faster by emailing me. Uh, it's only going to be Zelle and Cash App. And honestly, you guys, I think this is going to be my last giveaway. Uh, it just, I don't know. We're going to see, man. We're going to see how this one goes. If it works out nice, it goes quick, then we might do another one. But I'm thinking about putting a... Uh, putting a two-door Tahoe together to do a giveaway on, man. So if you guys want to see a two-door Tahoe, I'll build it. It's already four-wheel drive. I'll build it. Maybe we can do a giveaway on that. And we'll get into the next one later on, man. But anywho, so like, subscribe, show love. Hit the thumbs down only if your ugly ass is a bum, baby. Hating is only love and jealousy at the same time. And get your ticket, y'all you know saying? Because I ain't got one yet. So I wish I could buy one, but I can't. So, peace.